Every time, though, every time you lose a match, someone's going to say it's a bad matchup. You win a match, good matchup. Can never lose it. Lose a match, bad matchup. Down the line. Oh, should we balance again? I kind of want to balance people. We never had a really good balance. Oh, no, that's not true. We did balance that one person down to, like, one land and one card in hand. Hey, skedaddle. Thanks for the sob. Thanks for 46 months. Oh yeah, bookkeeper. Yeah, I never, I never draft, drafted unruly crisis, but it always looked good when I saw it. Always looked solid. Thinking about sneak attack. Thinking about inti here. I like both those cards a lot. I think I'm gonna inti, and then I might just ditch this balance. Hum. We'll see. We'll see which looks more open. Oh, that's an idea, Marchalis. That's an idea. What is Frexie and Nissa doing in here? I mean, it's one of the five better five mana Planeswalkers. Mm, it does a fine uh, Crater Hoof impression. You don't need ramp for that Nissa. You don't need land ramp for that Nissa. Sometimes it coming down for five mana and just like disenchant, disenchant is very, very good. In Vintage Cube. And then, yeah, sometimes it does the overrun impression. And it doesn't have to be plus seven, plus seven, or whatever. A lot of times, plus three, plus three, or what have you is good enough. No consideration for key. I don't even know what card you're talking about, Shadow Titan. No, no consideration. Hmm. These are not really aggro cards, are they? I might be moving back towards the balance. Keeping an open mind. Manifold key? I don't value Manifold key highly at all. I'll be taking it very late. Hedge on Sword? I'm bitter about Sword. God, we drew Academy like two turns after we lost Sword combo. It was tilting. Copter kind of fits. Copter kind of fits. Yeah, I'm salty about never popping off with, uh, with Sword of the Meek. If they have only Oko or Minskin Boo, one of those two games, huh? If it's one of them... I think I would have been fine. But both of them, both games. And Pest Infestation. What are the odds, huh? What are the odds? You know what? You know I was tilted because I'm still talking about the match, even though I'm doing the next draft. I never do that shit. I always like refocus, new thing, move on. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the cop term. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, and team. We're gonna have that balance so often now. It's gonna be so so nice and consistent. I am indeed mortal goody Phil, yeah. I'm just I'm just letting y'all know my tell. <laughs> if I'm like still stuck there. If I'm still stuck in that last match. That's my tell. That must have been it, Kadunk. I was probably tilted because of what uh, how bad of a matchup it was. I think I think you're probably right about that. Yeah, balance dot deck is sick. Let's just do that. Let's get them. So Pented Prism is like the one quote unquote balance card here. I don't really want to play it though. I'd rather play like an actual mana rock or something. I'm gonna take Cryptic Command. Maybe we'll end up with Quad Blue, who knows? Hmm. Kinda hate Esper Sentinel in my balance deck, but maybe we'll work in some number of artifact uh some number of critters. Still cruise copter, still juices up the Karn tokens. It's still a good card. You can get away with playing some number of creatures with balance. The idea being that like you don't have to run them out, right? You are Roxas. I not intentionally. I'm not like forcing workshops or what have you. But we went pack one, pick one, Mox Pearl, and then I saw a balance. And balance and Mox Pearl play pretty well together. I'm not sure if you were aware. Gross. That's where I like to get man. Someone earlier was asking about manifold key. This is where I get it. Once I like already have a pile of artifacts, it always wheels. Scoop it up then. You don't have to grab it early. 
it's not even necessarily good here, right? It's going to be good here if we get um, cards like Grim Monolith and Basalt Monolith. Certainly not something I'm jamming aggressively. What do you know, a Grim Monolith? The key certainly does make that look a little better, doesn't it? Key's also cute with Sensei's Divining Tom, but... Like, it turns it into a draw engine. Like, you activate tap top to draw a card, respond, untap it, tap draw a card. Responding to tap, top draws is, like, just some of the most fun magic. Really cool thing to do with a Goblin Welder, too. If you ever get the chance. Not in this cube, they cut Goblin Welder. The Cowards. Just a spell bomb, is that all I'm doing? Just a lousy spell bomb? Yeah, it's fine. Urza? God, there's a Shorkai and an Ancient Tomb here that I also really want. We'll see if any of that juicy goodness gets to wheel. So currently my pick order, last draft people were asking why I didn't take Kitten so higher when they saw how good it was when I had very specifically Mox into balance and three mana to fairy to blink and stuff. Like in this spot, I think the, the, the priority is Battlesphere first, then Hollowed Found, then Cat. Finally, so like I just don't end up drafting cat that often. The battle sphere got way, way, way better once we have Urza. Urza can use that mana and rip it out. Kind of a match made in heaven. Duels like Hollowed Fountain would be nice, but they're not as necessary in a deck that's playing all these mana rocks, right? So a talisman of progress, adding this to your deck is very similar to playing adding two duels. It's kind of like drafting two duels because you're taking up a spell slot with a talisman. And adding two pips to your uh, your color production. All right, where's the academy? Is City of Traders too narrow? City of Traders can be fine. I don't pick it aggressively. I don't pick it like Ancient Tomb. The cool thing about Ancient Tomb is you can play a Talisman on turn one, right? You can't do that with City. Not effectively. I do think it's a smidge narrow if you're only drafting it to combo with balance. Oh, this thing's good. My controlling artifact deck. That's a mox. I love to see that. Yeah, either Spellbomb was much better with Emery in the cube. It's still good. It's still good in artifacts, but... It's interesting when they make, like... Cuts and stuff without considering the other cards around them. Do you need Foundry to run Sword? You pretty much do, yeah. Uh, the most Power 9 Moxen that I've had in a cube deck is 4 Dagon Crow. Still very good. I liked something with top. I don't remember what it was. Oh, Manifold Key? Yeah, that's sweet. Correct, Kudunk. You do not need Sword to run Foundry. There can be other reasons to run Foundry. Sometimes just, like, having a Spectral Procession, stacking your random artifacts can be really good. Pressure and Imposing Walker or something. The disrespect people have on Luris, right? Yeah, the only reason I would ever pass Luris is if, um... Ooh, Shorkheim. Where was I? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the only reason I would ever pass Luris is if I didn't want it because it wasn't very good. But that's the only reason. The only reason you should ever pass that card. Yeah, Academy would be our best get, followed by um, just more Moxen, really. Moxen are really good here. Emrakul is something to do with infinite Zerta mana. Also very castable if we do get Academy. We already have two Talismans, so we don't really need the Mind Stone. Soul Cauldron is just a sideboard card. How much of a dick would I feel like if I drafted this Emrakul and then didn't use it? Let's play it. Fuck it. We can Urza spin into it. That'll be sweet, right? That'll happen. One of my favorite cube decks I've ever drafted was an Academy Gaia's Cradle cube deck in Paper Vintage Cube. 
and I was just like hard casting Emrakul on turn four. It was it was it was a very satisfying. Think about memory jar. Think about staff. Staff's pretty decent. I think we have enough card draw. I don't think we need the memory jar. I say as I take another card draw spell. Thinking about Jace, thinking about Sparrow's headquarters and research desk. Research desk is another good one to stash in play before you balance. Pretty reasonable card. It's a nice churn. Think about what the odds are that I actually want to play this Jace. Headquarters makes the cryptic command look a lot better. Oh no, let's take the land. Let's take the land. Ooh, so a cool thing about this Basalt Monolith is that it makes the Zerda and the Manifold Key. So we have two things that work with Monoliths, Zerda and Manifold Key. I think it becomes pretty consistent once you have two of them. Yeah, right, Xanfast? It is weird to see how much Vintage Cube got power crept in the last three, four years. And some of that was, like, removing some old duds that needed to be trimmed, but I think they could have leaned slightly more towards... Keeping old iconic cards that still have that nostalgia feel. Because Vintage Cube is about both of those things, right? It's about power, playing like the best cards, but then it's also about um, the nostalgia, the iconic part. One cool thing about Vintage Cube is people that don't play a ton of modern magic can come in and still know what a lot of the cards do. And if you cycle it too fast, you lose a lot of that. I think the current Cube curators don't value that as much as they should. Hey, Mick Skilled, thanks for the sod, thanks for 63 months. So we don't have a ton to tinker into, but it does find us a monolith for Zerda. Oh, there's a Battle Sphere there for the Urza. Sea Shark's sweet. Sea Shark's been good for me today. I wonder if I'm supposed to draft the Force of Will. I don't have enough blue cards for it, but I could by the end of this pack. I'm just going to take Tinker. Ooh. This is very, very exciting, folks. A Retrofitter Foundry for my Urza. Also, Zerda is very, very good with Retrofitter Foundry, so that's sweet. Bye, Blight Steel. Academy, yes! Oh, I'm so glad I took that Retrofitter. I would have been so sad if I would like taken the Blight Steel and then fucking immediately got Academy and been like, No, I didn't have a Retrofitter! That Blight Steel might wield, too. That card sucks. Foundry for the Sword, that would be sick. Didn't get there, but that's okay. How are we doing on playables? Pretty well. I think I can take Colonnade here over Relic or Sahili. This wouldn't be the worst spot ever for Sahili. It plays well with the Monoliths, and it plays well with the Academy. Yeah, I was shit-talking Sahili the other day. Maybe I should play it here to show like when I do like it. I'm, sure, I'm not sure it's like that much better than Relic or Colonnade, though. I like the memory jar a little bit better now that we have all this um, infinite mana going on. It's also a backup tinker target. You can't believe I got the academy? I can believe it. I was right here. I was just drafted a few picks ago. It's on camera. If you, if, you don't, if you don't believe it, if you're calling me a liar, you can just go check the footage. There's no reason to call me a liar in this situation. I have hundreds of witnesses. Altered footage? Yeah, it probably was. The deep fake. <laughs> you didn't see anything? No, my witnesses! <laughs> so I need, like, a cut. I don't really need a cut. I have all these mana rocks. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. Let's jam this. Where are all these fucking mountains coming from? Zerda? <laughs> need him to play the Zerda? I'm so proud of, of chat. I didn't see a single person asking me to companion the Zerda. Oh, these talismans split. Oh, this talisman of indulgence is real bad, huh? It was said I just missed it, yeah. But I didn't see it, so I, I can, I'm can. i still allowed to be proud. <laughs> this is 11 blue sources. 8 white. I think that's good. I get one more land. 
This is nine white. Let's yeah, let's play let's play um one more blue source for the cryptic, I guess. We're at twelve. Twelve's pretty good. Just play a dragon over planes. <laughs> Caleb, this thirteen land deck is too many lands. Cut some of that shit. Trying to decide if 10 white is good with the Zerta balance you want white early on. Nine's, nine's enough. It's enough. It's enough. This is fine. It's good. The fucking red talisman taps for Zerta too. So normally this is the sort of hand that I would mulligan because I don't have an academy. I don't have a mox. I really like having that fast man in the opener. But we have a pretty good, uh, reasonable looking curve here, right? Turn two talisman, play out the Aether Spell Bomb. And then you got balance to slow them down, and Urza chains into Battle Sphere. It's a hand with a plan. I emptied Xion's six of the three dollar donation. Did I multitask pouring a drink and going to the toilet? I did not. I went and pee really quick, and then I grabbed a drink. What the fuck? Here we go. In Hawaii, they just call them shirts? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to a ragstock in years, Frex and Literator. There is, there is one in Madison, I believe. I really like the, uh, the all-cotton ones, though. They breathe so nice. When you're a big, sweaty dude, it's nice to have shirts that breathe super nice. That's my words words of wisdom for the day. Kept some glasses and booze bottles in the bathroom so I could pee and make a fresh drink. That would be very efficient. But then I'd have to have an ice ice machine in the bathroom too. That would be living right there. Ice machine right there, like for when you're on the can. <laughs> oh, that's fucking terrible for me. This is going really poorly. I don't know what that is, Specfrog. It would be easier to install a toilet in the kitchen. Oh, that's an idea, too. I have been mana leaked. Surprised I'm not making a dragon here. Did I update Stream Decker? I did. Yeah, Battle Sphere is our main Tinker target. There is also, um, there's also Memory Jar as a backup, and Shorakai. So one awkward thing, I'm like very glad that they have not been Krakus bouncing their Lauren to blow up my Talismans and stuff. So I want to balance them this turn while they're tapped out, and they don't see that line, you know, because the Krakus is tapped. So it's like, do I want to fit this Tinker into that line, or do I want to discard a card? In which case, I'd probably be bidding um, either the Tinker or the Battle Sphere. One thought is to Tinker and sack like the Talisman or the Spell Bomb and go find um, Grim Monolith. But then it stays tapped. I guess it would get Basalt Monolith. But it would give me an out towards infinite mana. Kind of cool. One awkward thing about sacking the Aether Spell Bomb is then the Dragon is pretty solid. I'm definitely gonna. Be, I'm playing the balance this turn. That's why I lit on that tentative. That's 100% happening. 
the things that I was thinking about were those other uh, fork in the tree type moments there. Cheers, everyone. Well, I balance. I have to figure out what I'm discarding, right? And if I'm going to discard the Tinker anyway, then maybe it's better to play it. Hence the hence the long tank. Jeweled Amulet. I think I remember that card. It's like a zero, right? Put a charge counter on Jeweled Amulet. Know the type of mana spent to play this activation cost. Activate if there are no charge counters on it. Remove a charge counter. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a build your own Lotus Petal thing. Activate on one. Oh man, they got Skydiver. I guess at least they're not taking my Basalt Monolith. A Legacy Cube card? It seems much worse than Legacy Cube. Where you don't have all these like artifact beneficiaries. That's a you decision, seventh profit. Both of those are reasonable. Very equal win rates in my experience. Oh, that fucking sucks. Jeweled Hamulet sees play in Legacy at Wobbles. Not a ton, but it does. I think the opponent's got too much pressure here for me. They're disruption plus pressure. They can blink code or make a dragon. I'm just over here fiddling. Hell yeah, Peacecraft. Congrats on the thumbs and the other stuff. A tough matchup. It, it might be Muppet more. I know I've been like... I know you're like saying that... Um, likely saying that jokingly from the amount of times I've ranted about it today. But if we're playing like an artifacty mirror and the opponent's got Skydiver and a Lauren that they can bounce with Caracas, might indeed very well be a tough matchup. That's the only thing I ever lose to, the mirror. <laughs> hey, Peacecraft, thanks for the 500 bits. You want to get a little industrial? We can get a little industrial. I'll do that right now. I'll do that right now. Some nine inch nails. That's so many inches of nails. <laughs> glad, glad to see we're playing the correct version here. I don't want to take three damage, but if I kill this, the basalt monolith's up. I go to four, play Battlesphere. That's like kind of good, right? I'm only one man away from slamming Battlesphere anyway. Let's let's kill the flyer. Fuck made that card. You feel so defeated when they like flash it in. You're like, oh man. Opponent's got me. They just have to like bounce the code, replay it, and attack in, I'm dead. Maybe they won't do that though. You never know. They should make a sl separate slider for just the music. You're probably right about that. This is like too quiet for you. Let me see if I can accommodate a little bit. Zerda. Zerda doesn't do anything here. Dead. 
got them right where we want them. Hey, thanks for those bits, Squid Squad. Relic order seems important, huh? Seems like that one should come in. Portal hole looks good. I think most of this looks good. Gotta cut something though. My god. Hmm. Yeah, this is real. Got some green anti-artifact stuff. We have a headquarters and a Moxo Bulls. Not quite enough, um. There's curiosity, like three green sources. I had to cut here anyway. Alright, now this is a good hand. Gotta be a good hand, right? Not legal. Why would it, why would it be legal? All right, let's listen to some Rage Against Vanessa Carlton. I think we got this one locked up, huh? I've heard that one more, Water Warrior. So this one's better to me now. You're not sure how to feel about this song? It's a rousing tune about calling out... Um, Racism and police brutality. We can always make infinite stuff on their turn. They can literally top deck a balance here and we can float infinite mana on. And make a bunch of four fours. This balance doesn't do it. Followed by another Wrath. Well, it'd have to be an instant speed Wrath, because we make the 4-4s four on their turn.
Oh, I see what you're saying. So they would balance and then they down take Jace on balance. I like the second main phase. They would still need mana. How was uh how was your hockey game, Hidalog Jane? Was that a good time? Hey Squid Squad, these are five hundred bits, appreciate you. I think five two twos is probably pretty good. Hey, Roman Tarot, things with the sub, things 84 months. Yeah, don't be scared. It's not a bad diss, Tekken Crow. It's like funny and like kind of good. I enjoy it. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, wasn't he a fucking governor? A governor of Minnesota? Or am I getting my wrestlers confused? Jesse Ventura, I was getting them confused. I don't, you could play the planes here, but I don't think we're going to play Relic Warder on turn two, even if we draw a fucking white source. Portable hole much more likely. You got it, friend. I'm going to pause this one. I'm going to pause this one. Squid Squad's got a summer quest. It's a heater of a mashup album. Play it for as long as you can stand. Sure, we'll do. Not spinning top here. I'm just gonna draw some cards. So I guess I should do that my turn, huh? Stack a draw. Then untap. Then draw again. You can kind of burn for now, Relic Warding, hum. All right, we can just draw cards. Actually, that's quite good. You could play Karn down tick, but if they answer the Karn, actually, that's fine. Do the line just a Nettle Cyst and then spin top? Yeah, the nice thing about Nettle Cyst is if they have an answer to the token, they're not like pressuring your walker, right? It lines up better against removal. But at least like the Thalia doesn't clear the Karn. That's why I eventually went to the Karn. Seems reasonable. Getting spell pierced here. Or do they want to play a two mana card? That's not happening. A 
leak. They did show me leaking game one. Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's what I remember from um, like elementary and middle school. Oh my. Oh yeah, that Steve. That makes sense. You ran into Stone Cold like with your car? That's unfortunate. You think this song's awful? Should I skip ahead? This song's way better. I'll keep playing it then, you see, Slugger. Maybe I was supposed to move the Nettle Sist over and Manifold Key to... Oh, I guess I didn't have the mana for all that. What you got, opponent? This is pretty good. We can kind of do whatever we want here because we got resist spins in between top searches and stuff. Just gonna make a lot of mana here. Got a short card draw there too. Oh, they're at one. I guess I could just fucking serve with Colonnade. That's not nearly as exciting though, is it? Actually, short Kai is fucking not something sick, right? I'll do that and I'll do that instead. And then I get to do more things. Opponents having fun watching me. Might as well give them a show, huh? Absolutely. I mean, they didn't concede when I was fucking infinite comboing in game two when they had nothing. So I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm throwed anything here. Let's see if we can find Academy. Hey, Warren Fish thinks the $10 donation. Let's jam it. Oh, yeah, I win the match. Do I? Is that, is that what happened? Okay. Okay, that's that's fine. So fine time to win the match. Yeah, you just screw the Shorakai and get in, right? Good match. Oh, yeah, it must be. We won. I'm going to turn one preordain and look for a rock. So I can go turn two rock and a Tom. Yeah, I know some viewers don't like this um, this style of music, but this is definitely my favorite song about rock and roll McDonald's. And they have that deserves some respect. We're so close. We're closer than y'all realize to this Emrakul. What? Why are they giving me the stats? <laughs> I 
white source or well the monolith is like vaguely helpful but not specifically helpful mm. no, no 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 let's listen to something real there we go there's for knowledge that's the card the magic card car enough tickets eaten if they decide to just crack some clues to tracker here I'm just gonna swap talismans. <laughs> Maybe Aegis Exile Tracker would be sick. It's an important swap. It gives me a Sensei's Top Spin and it gives me a second White Source for Felidar Sovereign. Or not Felidar Sovereign, but you know, the combo card. I'm trying to cast this fucking Emrakul here. Thank you for Talisman. Yeah, I like that I swapped Talismans. Are they going to sack and hit my, this one? <laughs> it's rude as shit. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I mean, the balance doesn't really do it for me. It slows them down, though. You don't want to activate that in response, and they get to keep their tracker. Opponent's still in a great spot, huh, with this one ring here. They need to keep on drawing and such. And we're like flailing around with top. Next turn I'm probably just replaying top and then and then untapping monolith, setting up for battle sphere or something. Really need that fucking combo card, huh? That 3-3. Three, three. Oh shit, what up? Hey Nuna Magic Style, these are 37 months. That's a pretty good follow-up. Not a lot of time here for me. Not a lot of time for me to solve this particular dilemma I've been given. Is this it? The best song ever made? Am I saying White's turned off now? It's it's worse than that Necrowind. <laughs> I'm literally done on board. <laughs> they serve with the Boo, I take four, and then they sag it a mince, do the other four. The ring's brutal. I don't know if it's like bringing Pick Your Poison and Haywire might brutal. Or oh, Relic Water can hit it. That's fine. That's like a thing I could do. I want to either spell bomb to stay in. I might slow down a Minsk. I'm just going to cut Cryptic. Fuck a Cryptic, am I right? Oh, I should get another Planes in. Minus triple blue plus double white. Same mana rocket. Let's go. This is cool. What a good idea. Why don't we kick it? Why don't we kick it more often? <laughs> I 
If they don't don't pop my monolith, I'm just gonna short I activate next turn. And won't that be juicy? This is a track about tasting people like yogurt. So we could untap Monolith and play Retrofitter and activate. I think I want to untap Monolith and then untap it at Monolith at Mana. That's what I think. Was that a sentence? That sounded like a sentence to me. They got a mid-combat triple green card here. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of themselves. Yogurt, yeah. I'll take the three damage. I'll take it. I can afford it. I can afford the three damage. Psh, I'm tough like that. I got 20 of these fucking things. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, cheese missile things at the sub. Things at the three months. What do I gotta do to get an academy around these parts? Love that, J. Rome. Yeah, I've never seen Turquoise Jeep. I would love to. If I get a fucking academy, I'm casting this goddamn Emrakul. That's happening. That's happening. Look at all this fucking mana. You thought we were going to untap Shurikai? I thought about it. I thought about it. More chances at the Academy. Getting the Battle Sphere down, though, makes that even better. Pick your poison. You want me to sack an artifact? Oh, no. <laughs> Still good to bring it against me, but it gets much, much worse as the game goes on, huh? Name Sticker Goblin. Hope I'm not getting, like, Snuck Attack here. Hey, that card's banned! Uh, excuse me, in the Vintage Cube, I did not expect to face cards that were, in fact, banned in Vintage. I would like, um, refund. <laughs> no, my Emrakul! Ah! <laughs> I was pretty far away from it. I guess now I can draw. Draw it now. Like your gut. We do it! They pinged a fucking mirror token. Hey, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna lead on Preordain. How much beta do I got? Enough. Cool. I told you I was close. Y'all didn't believe me. Everyone was like, Caleb, you can't count for shit. You're so far away from an Emrakul. And then y'all like fucking... Spat on my sneakers. It was rude. I'd like an apology, please. Hate this opener. Hate it. But I do like the cards. Are any of y'all into discipline? I think it's like one of my top hobbies. 
Hey, Mark thinks the sod thinks the seven months. You were the one who was saying unsubscribe. You were joking. You were yanking my chain. A little bit of time here. I mean, it's scary. We got a little bit of time. A paradise. I was planning on um, leaving up Aether Spell Bomb to hit the token here, so I don't need another four. But if you play the Mana Rock, you can actually serve with Colonnade next turn and just clear the fucking. Yeah, not getting down the shortcut down to start activating it's been pretty brutal. Can I afford to activate and attack Nissa here? Goes down to five. Takes seven on board. Seven's kind of a lot, right? It's kind of a lot. I'm not going to lie, chat. I think I am going to lose this game, but, but, it's only because it's a bad matchup. It's the only reason. I mean, I guess I could draw balance here. If I literally rip balance return, I can balance. They lose all this shit. And then I activate Shorakai afterwards to block the Nissa token. This way I have to lead on the Shorakai activation, which is much worse. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Stack could draw Academy, and then I could play Urza off that. Worth a shot. Mystical Tutor. <laughs> oh no, that could, that could go find the balance. Perfect. Just the card I. Just the card I needed. Damn. 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 Let's play this last match. Let's play it. We got a Zerdi here. Mystical for a fucking tinker here. I mean, the talisman can tap for the mystical. I, I think we leave on preordain. Go root, rummaging around for some fast mana. Fast some some. These are good cards to bottom. Yeah, you suck, Danny. That would make sense. Fucking magical. The community, they responded to community backlash. They're usually pretty good about that. If it's something that's small, if it's not like some huge thing. That's a fucking instant. Did they tutor for that? That's so odd. Oh, that's horse shit, fucking magical. I took the exact same stance that he did and didn't stop meme. From getting um getting a preview card. 
yeah. Definitely wasn't it. What's a preview card? A preview card's when Wizard gives out a card that has not been released yet to a content creator for them to preview. And be like, show to the community and be like, oh, look at this! And then people can come in and maybe they make content around it, maybe they just show it off so people can see it. It's to build hype and excitement. It's kind of fun. I still very much remember my first preview card. I was writing for uh, Channel Fireball at the time, back in the day. And a, uh, my editor messaged me. And he was like, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. How would you like to do a preview card? And I was like, fuck yes. And he was like, okay, good. Because LSV got one and he doesn't have time to do it. <laughs> yes, gimme! <laughs> Fucking still excited. <laughs> Trying to think of like Karn Downtick or just running out short guys better here. And the Karn Downtick's like kind of vulnerable. I guess I don't have to serve with Battle Sphere. That's coward talk though, right? That's coward talk. Let's fucking let's wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. What happens if you get a shit card? I mean, you plug the shit card. I, I, I've had plenty of shit cards. I've had, I've had some really good ones over the years, but I've also had plenty of like you know limited commons and things of that ilk. It's still cool. You still get to show off a card from the new set. People are still excited. Right. Yeah, you can still talk about like what it means for the set, how it fits into the limited environment, that sort of thing. The mechanics that are on the card, if there are any. The art. You know, there's, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, dear boy. Hell yeah, Nick Patches. How do y'all feel about Psycho Salad? I think this one's a classic. Ooh. 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 We're not quite to infinite mana. We need another white source for this Zerda. I have faith in the Zerda, though. Faith in the short guy to get me there. Yeah, fucking magical. My last preview card was uh, Modern Masters 2. So it's been some years for me, too. Mm. The difference, of course, being that Spike had never gotten one. Yeah, Ignoble Hierarch. I put a lot of work into that, too. What was my first one? Uh, I don't remember the name of the card. I can I can list it off though. It was a black black two two vampire, and when you discarded a card, you could give all of your vampires plus one plus one until end of turn. Oh, Spike has had a preview card? Well, then what's everyone whining about? <laughs> How is it so hard to get the second white source? That's all I want.
Yeah, as Chad pointed out, I could have manifold keyed it at 9-9 to make it unblockable and win that way. But I didn't wanna! I wanted to do the Zerta thing! I had the Zerta and the fucking thing, and I only had one white! Ah! We got it this time. We got it this time. Guaranteed. Guaranteed infinite mana. I need to hard cast some more Emrakuls. That's what I need. I have a craving. I have a fiendish craving for more Emrakul. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my. I think this is my favorite song about getting fat from eating pizza. At least top three. No! I'm in tithes! I'm in tithes! Why'd I wake up today? Why'd I even... Why'd I get out of bed? What y'all know about Tonic Tonic Tun? This is a terrible song to run out of drink to. I'm going to pour myself a little bit of gin here. Yeah, there's a splash. There's a splash of gin. Cheers, everybody. What's his last tour, Graven Blood? I'm, intent I'm intending to see him when he comes through Madison. I didn't know it was his last tour, though. Could Mystical up Balance or Tinker? Don't really love either of them. Yeah, I kind of dislike that, Adam Caps. The, mm, why did he not get a card and he got a card? And, like, valid to, um, to say that Spike deserves a card and he should get a card to preview. Extremely valid, I would say. Super fucking valid. Hard to argue against. But, I don't think it's correct to be like, but he got one. <laughs> Which is not what Spike did, you know? Spike never made that argument. Just people that are a little too online. Your Battle Sphere actually loses this race. They've got Giver of Runes to give Pro Colorless and a Knight token that can, like, carry the Umzawas and stuff. So I'm not going to do that. I was going to get um, Memory Jar, but Shorkai seems pretty good. Let's do that. Card fucking rocks. Perfect. No notes. <laughs> exactly, Matt. That's another part of it, too. He's friends with Doomwake. I'm sure he's, like, fucking stoked that Doomwake's got a card. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. Leovold, it's not only delegated to a single person at Wizards. That person got fired in December. <laughs> Pro Colorless does make Umazawa's fall off, yeah. You're talking about my, my consideration with uh, grabbing Battlesphere. I wanted cards anyway. This is fine. You're right, though. You're right, though. It was a poor note on my part. But maybe? More cards, the cards! For sure, Adam Camps, for sure. Mm. Wonderwall has not aged a day, no. These lyrics, these lyrics! Correct, Wheezing Pains. Correct. 
Wizards is like a huge bureaucracy too. All this red tape, and then you're answering to fucking Hasbro. Certainly don't envy that aspect of that job, hum. Should I bottom Karin? No, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. I wanted to bottom it though. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Hell yeah. Is this it? The best song ever written? The actual best song? Cryptic Man tapping them is a little awkward with Virtue down. Still gonna fucking do it though. What should we listen to now? A little Tenacious D. A little TD action in the evening. Get that shit out of here. Only I shall draw cards. Hanlon's razor. Is it any good? The last razor I used was a Harry's razor that I was paid to endorse. Worked pretty well. I did an unboxing where I shaved my back with it live on stream. And I'm like tested it or anything. I was like, this is either going to be good or it's going to be shit. We're going to find out together. Hell yeah, Necrowind. Hey, sup, Tazy Lirtle. songs that happened Asia today. The best part of this song, I mean, it's a great song, but like the video that, <laughs> that he made about his cat, it was so good, 16 years ago. He put so much effort into this. That's like an entire, entire dance video for his cat. It's so good. Was it a bad attack? What was bad about it? Yeah, when they give Pro Colorless, the Mazawas falls off, so I'm not like gifting them counters or whatever. Forcing them to pay the mana to re-equip. All it does is equip Jit. What does not attacking do? <laughs> Where do you find this stuff? This is a song request. It also has 92 million views on YouTube. Where are you finding these tracks? Where where do you find them? You and 92 other million people. What? What? I gotta imagine this is the clear car and hum. Just cat people. Yeah. Oh, it's no, coming at face. Coming at face for 40 damage. Get those 40 damage. Sure, why not? I have 23 million of the views. Oh, they wrath. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Y'all excited for this? 
I'm fucking excited for this. Yeah, yeah. Should we read somebody? Let's read somebody. Who's fucking streaming? Someone's gotta be streaming. Twitch.tv. 